All right, guys, I'm going to do my best to explain this one. I'm not a programmer, but I don't like doing the same thing multiple times. So I'm going to use a, show you guys how to use a macro real quick, specifically how to create my own that will convert to any file format I choose. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new macro. And we're going to say convert to STL. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and paste some code in here that I've created, and we'll talk through it. So, um, like I said, you can make this whatever you want. You can see down at the bottom here, I've got the extension STL. All you have to do to change this is go down there, change it to step file, change it to I just change it to whatever you want, and you can just one click button save this file. And uh, basically, what's going on inside the macro? First thing that we have is our variable declarations. We're going to use that throughout the length of the the program. Uh, but after that, essentially what we're doing here is we're connecting to SOLIDWORKS first, and then we're going to connect to the SOLIDWORKS model object. So essentially the model that I have open in this case. And then I'm going to also connect to the uh, model extension. So connecting to the model extension will allow me to do things like actually go and do my save as, where connecting to the SOLIDWORKS model will let me pull information about the model. Like in this case, I want to get the file path that the model saved in. So little note here, this won't work unless the model is actually already saved. So you need to have your part saved before you go and you try to create an STL from it in this case. So um, the next thing that I do here is I take that file path that I got and I do a little bit of string manipulation. So I just remove the last seven characters off of that so that I get the path. And then the last thing that I do here is my actual save as command. Um, if you look in the API help, which you can find right up here um, and you look at that save as what you'll find is uh, this is an obsolete uh, command basically uh, the newer one you could use it but it requires a lot more options and stuff to be set so all the things that are happening here after i put my name in are different options and uh, things that i have to create so uh, the save as command does work fine here it's not best practices to do this but it will work just fine so just to show you here real quick, we could just go ahead and run this. And it went ahead and it saved that STL for me. Uh, you could just go ahead and browse out to where this is. On my components folder. There it is right there. So um, hopefully this helps you guys. I'll go ahead and put this code in the um, comments here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that.